Live from the news station, Fox 35 News at 5 starts now. Welcome back. Have you noticed more notices online telling you about your internet privacy rights? Yeah, sites are doing this because of a new California law. You listen to this stuff because this is serious. Fox 35's Brian Scott reports. Have you noticed a return in 2020? Pop-ups are back on a lot of popular websites, but this time they aren't ads, rather pop-ups of privacy. If not that or a banner, there are entirely new privacy sections in website menus. Being in the web design business, uh, it's, we have to actually start incorporating all of this. Tom Jelnick says in all the sites his company or any company designs, new clearer transparency about your information. Alert you that, hey, I'm collecting this on you, that on you, I know this about you, I'm stalking you as you go through my website. The change, not national, but basically affecting the entire internet, all because of California. Consumers in California will have more ownership and control over their data. The state attorney general enacting their new privacy law this month, requiring any websites that may do business with Californians, so really, all websites clearly disclose how they use customers' data, including their cookies and also that they offer a do not sell my personal information button. Experts do warn that though these options are now right in front of you, they don't have legal teeth unless you're actually from California. You can fill out the do not sell form, but the site may or may not honor it. It's really awkward right now. So it's, it's like that awkward phase of, wow, what would happen if this got compromised or that? A lot of this we don't know yet. But Jelnick thinks this will eventually lead to a federal privacy law. He says, really, it's about time. And this is refreshing because as consumers, we see so much opportunity to get taken advantage of, right? So somebody's doing something about it. Until then, he says, hey, at least you'll know a little bit more about what those websites know. Yeah. In Maitland, I'm Brian Scott, Fox 35 News.